My name is Pascal McKeown. As head of the School of Medicine, Dentistry and Biomedical Sciences, I too offer my warmest congratulations to you all. I also wish to take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to you for the wonderful contributions you have made to the life of the university, the wider healthcare sector, and the global community during your time at Queen's University. It has been our privilege in the school to have been fellow travelers with you on this initial part of your educational journey. And I hope that the experiences you have gained here will stand you in good stead in your future careers. None of us expected the final year of your dental studies to take this particular course, with the world looking so radically different as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I wish to acknowledge your resilience during this time of major change. You will be entering the dental profession at this challenging time, one which will demand a new vision for healthcare. And we and your colleagues in the wider healthcare sector will be here to support you as you commence your contribution to patient care. I am reminded of a quotation which has been variously attributed both to Abraham Lincoln and William Makepeace Thackeray. It reads, whatever you are, be a good one. So my wish for you is that whatever you do with your life, you will do it to the very best of your ability. And in doing so, you will not only uphold the finest traditions of the dental profession, but also experience great joy and fulfillment, providing care to those who seek your help. I wish you and your families a very special and memorable celebration today. An integral part of dental graduations at Queen's is the reciting of the Sponsio Academica. The Sponsio is a solemn declaration which we normally recite together in public, in front of friends and families during the graduation ceremony. Previous graduates have recounted to me the profound effect which reciting this oath in public has with regard to the realization that they are entering a noble and trusted profession which place, places patient care at the center of their working lives. On this occasion, we have pre-recorded the sponsio. Whilst the recording is playing, we ask each and every graduand to recite the declaration aloud. The words will be provided for you at the bottom of the screen. So, despite being physically distanced, the Queen's University Belfast Dental Class of 2020 will be speaking with one voice, demonstrating your commitment to the service of those entrusted to your care. Thank you. Hello, uh, I would like to welcome our new dental graduates and their families to this online celebration event. On behalf of the teaching staff of Queen's University Dental School, I would like to congratulate the class of 2020 for achieving so much during your time at university. We are very proud of the fact that you are now fully fledged dentists. It has been particularly pleasing for us to observe the way in which you have overcome all the challenges that are part of the rigorous training required to become a dentist. As you all know, studying for a degree in dentistry is entirely different from any other course of study at university. The intensity of the last five years, which has included clinics treating your own patients, lectures, seminars, laboratory clinical skills training, as well as regular assessments, has meant that all of you have had to work extremely hard. The class of 2020 took all this in their stride. The resilience and professionalism that you have all demonstrated will stand you in good stead during your future careers. Your teaching staff are confident that you all now possess the knowledge and skills required to provide excellent care for your patients. We also know that you will always make the care of your patients your first concern. As well as completing one of the most challenging university degree programs, you have fully engaged in and enjoyed the wider university life. 
From the perspective of this teaching staff, the 2020 cohort of dental graduates has been a great year group. We have really enjoyed supporting your development and we will miss you all. As Queen's University dental graduates, you will be joining a unique group that has a long and proud tradition. Queen's dental graduates have always made a major contribution to the dental profession at local, national and international levels. We wish you well in your future careers and we are certain that the dedication and professionalism you have shown in the last five years will continue to bring credit to you, to the dental profession and the Queen's University Dental School. Queen's Dentistry Class of 2020, you may not know that you are history makers. No other group of students have graduated under such challenging times. It's really hard to convey in a few seconds what has taken you half a decade to achieve. This is a fantastic achievement. We are so proud of you all, our newest members of the dental profession, and we know you will go on to make us even prouder in the future. We miss you all, and although we may not be together, we are still one big happy dental family, or perhaps dental bubble is the more appropriate term in the new 2020 dictionary. Please enjoy the journey and make sure you make lots of friends along the way and stay in touch with us here at the Dental School. Keep learning and keep up all your other interests as this will keep you fulfilled and balanced. And remember to ask for help when you need it. Look after each other and also build a really good support network around you. So we hope over the next 30 to 40 minutes, you sit back, relax, whether you're in your pajamas or not, and enjoy these messages from staff, fellow dentists and students to celebrate with you and remind you of your time as a dental student at Queen's. A massive congratulations from both of us. We are honoured to have been able to make a small contribution to your dental journey whilst working with you in the dental school this year and look forward to celebrating with you properly in the near future. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations, we are so sorry that we can't be with you in person. Well done for making it through. We've enjoyed teaching you in oral surgery, oral medicine and oral pathology. Well, mostly. Just remember, it's the most important branch of dentistry. It's okay, the others won't be listening. Congratulations again. Good luck in your careers. Look after yourselves and each other. We'll hopefully, hopefully see, see you soon. soon. Congratulations everyone, a wonderful achievement and I wish you every success for the future. So enjoy your career and enjoy your graduation. We'll all be celebrating with you. And we've watched you grow from novice young clinicians into the competent, confident young dentists that you are today. I really hope you enjoyed your years with us at Queen's and that you have many happy memories from your time with us. But most of all, I just want to wish you every success in your future careers wherever dentistry takes you. Congratulations on all your successes and hopefully we can meet up sometime soon. Oh, you're ready on this? Just been keep, trying to keep busy during lockdown. Uh, but no, and seriously, I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Um, it was really brilliant working with you all year, um, even though it ended in quite strange circumstances, but all the best for your um, foundation here. I know you'll all be great. I would like to offer a huge warm congratulations to the amazing dental class of 2020. Today is a very special occasion. You should be proud of your achievements. It has been a privilege to be part of your educational um, journey. Uh, I'm immensely proud of each and every one. I wish you the very best in your future career. Best of luck. I'm sure the physiology seems a long, long time ago, but hopefully it will do some good in your careers as dentists and all the very best for the future and very well done on graduating. Here's to the class of 2020. It's been a privilege to walk with you on your journey so far. We look forward to meeting you again as colleagues and hopefully the not so distant future. Congrats to you all. See you on the other side. Cheers. Cheers. Hello class of 2020. Massive congratulations. It's been an absolute joy and privilege teaching each and every one of you, right from those first days in CTL through to your final year clinics. We've had a few laughs, you know who you are, and we've even squeezed in a bit of dancing. 
Oh, speaking of dancing, you guys, you need to reorganize the grab ball as soon as you can. I need the chance to try and win this back from Dr. Gallagher. Well, everyone, seems like a long time since you started on these. Congratulations on your graduation. I'm absolutely delighted for you. Congratulations, guys. All the best for the future. Well done. Well done, well done, well done everyone. everyone. <laughs>
Also maybe taking on a leadership role to reach out to younger generations to reassure them that no matter who you are, where you come from or what you look like, there's a place for you in a profession like ours that's ready to serve and treat those around us. So with that in mind, we'll see where life takes us. Thank you very much for inviting me to take part in this very important celebration of your transition from being students uh, to the next phase of your career. I want to thank all of you for uh, the hard work that has gone into uh, exams uh, for your finals or finishing off uh, research work for either postgraduate taught or research programs. It has been difficult during this pandemic, uh, but I want to thank all of you students for uh, your hard work, uh, commitment uh, and support uh, to the staff uh, during this time. I'd also like to thank all the staff in the school for their uh, fantastic work in supporting you through these uh, assessments and uh, periods of write-up and uh, thank them for uh, supporting and making sure that uh, all of the assessments have gone through uh, so smoothly and allowed us uh, to get to the point of graduation. Pharmacy has made an enormous contribution to uh, the response we have made as a university uh, to the COVID-19 pandemic uh, through uh, supporting students, supporting many of you to volunteer and help in community pharmacies uh, and supporting both research and operational support for the NHS. Uh, we are very grateful uh, to everyone in the school uh, for all that they have done. You will be uh, now going to the next phase of your career. For some of you, it will be further uh, uh, study, further research or education and for some of you you'll be going into the workplace as community pharmacists uh, or scientists uh, within uh, the important uh, scientific ecosystem in which we work and has become clearly so important uh, to respond to uh, issues such as this pandemic. I want to wish you well. Uh, Queen's I hope has given you a set of values uh, and ways to approach learning uh, and delivery. Uh, that will stand you in good stead. I hope that many of you will come back to Queen's during your careers uh, for further study and education uh, and will contribute as alumni uh, to uh, the way that we move forward as a university uh, to address the really important issues in this world uh, such as we've had to tackle uh, during this pandemic. Finally, I'd like to thank uh, all of your uh, family and friends who have supported you through your uh, studies to get to this point of graduation. Uh, this is not something that students do on their own, but it's so dependent on the support of those around them uh, to help them uh, get to this stage of the career and move on uh, to the next. So thank you again, and I wish you every good fortune uh, over the next numbers of weeks and months uh, as you move on to the next stage of your life. Hello everybody and many congratulations on your great success. It's really well deserved, especially under these strange circumstances. And welcome to the Dental Club. Uh, I just wanted to say a few words, firstly to spare thought for your parents and your families. Um, it's such a big day for them as well and they all deserve a word of thanks. Um, being a dentist is a great job. It's full of great rewards and opportunities and you, you may not enjoy every moment, but you'll soon get over the bad times that we all have. Don't be in too much of a rush. Um, take your time and learn the basics first. And probably most important is to place your patients front and central and you won't go far wrong. So many congratulations again, enjoy your day, enjoy the summer and all the best. I just want to say congratulations to you all on your exam results and wish you all good luck for the next year. Missing you all here, as you can see it's very quiet and I'm actually getting on with someone. All the best, bye bye. Hello final years, I'm really delighted to be able to send you this message to say a huge congratulations on your recent achievements. I really hope you are able to celebrate in style with family and friends. However you choose to celebrate, have a wonderful time and I wish you all the best in your future career, whatever path that takes. And you never know, we may work together again in the future. 
All the best. Missing you all. Good luck. Congratulations and well done on your exams. That's great news. Um, good luck with all you do and see you soon. First of all, I want to offer you my congratulations. Well done. You've come through five years of a really tough course. You've had to demonstrate intelligence, dedication and professionalism. These are all qualities which will stand you in good stead for the rest of your lives. Dentistry is going through a tough time at the moment. I know that. I'm in the middle of it. But I can tell you that dentistry is coping well. And dentistry will come through this and out the other side. And will be stronger for it. So what seems unusual or difficult at the moment will be overcome. New systems will be developed and they'll be streamlined and things will be roughly back to business as usual in a relatively short period of time. You've chosen a good career. I would say to you that you should cherish your time at university. Look back on it with fondness. Make sure those relationships that you have built up, that you maintain. Keep those friendships from within dentistry and outside it. I have many friends going back to my time at university, many of them from within dentistry. I'm still in touch with them, see them frequently, on social media with them. And it's a great support to me. So I would recommend doing that. Also enjoy this time of your life. You have freedoms now and flexibilities that you may not have in the future. So take full advantage of this. The world is your oyster. Make the most of it. I have an old teacher from school who used to say that the two saddest words in the English language were, if only. Don't have regrets about not taking opportunities, not doing things that you can at the moment. Don't regret not taking that road less travelled. You never know what's at the end of it. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of your achievements. You've done so well and you've done it very much by yourself. No one can take that away from you. So enjoy this time. Enjoy this moment. Celebrate. Lastly, good luck. Hi folks, Jade Eve. I want to send you all a big heartfelt co-gorgeous and congratulations from the Students' Union on finishing your studies. You should all be so proud of your achievement. For many of you, I know this isn't the celebration that many of you expected, but however you are celebrating today, whether you're having a socially distanced get-together or a Zoom quiz with friends or even a lovely meal with your family, just know that you deserve it. This is the time also to reflect on all of your experiences during your time here at Queen's. The things you learned, the clubs and societies you joined, or the friends you made over the past few years. I want to wish you all the best as you work towards the future that you've always imagined. And I wish you all the best as you move on, knowing that you will change and lead our society for the better. Today is a special occasion that you celebrate the conclusion of your studies. On behalf of Queen's University, I want to congratulate each and every one of you in reaching this significant milestone. You've all worked extremely hard to reach this point, and you should be extremely proud. You're graduating in a year that has seen unprecedented change across the world. But you're also graduating in a special year for our university as we celebrate our 175th anniversary. Since 1845, our world-leading researchers, pioneering students and inspirational alumni have made a real difference to society here in Northern Ireland and across the world. You now join that talented and high-achieving Academy of Queen's alumni who continue to shape the world in which we live. As a graduate, you will always be part of the Queen's community. It's a community that I'm immensely proud of, particularly in how our students and our staff have responded to the challenges of the past few months. Our researchers have been playing their part in global efforts to understand COVID-19 
and find new treatments. We've also used our technologies to help meet the need for PPE in the fight against the disease. While our staff and students have adapted rapidly to new ways of working and learning. It's also a community that will play a key role as our society and economy recovers from the pandemic. And as Queen's graduates, as you embark on the next phase of your life, you will be at the very heart of that recovery. I wish you much continued success and look forward to hearing about your many achievements in the future. Congratulations again on this virtual graduation and I look forward to welcoming you back to campus sometime in the future for further celebrations to mark this really important milestone. I do solemnly declare that as a graduate in dentistry of Queen's University Belfast, I will make the care of my patients my first concern, keep my professional knowledge up to date, and recognise the limits to my professional competencies. Treat each patient with respect and dignity. Treat each patient considerately, respect their views, provide them with information, and involve them in decisions about their care. Work collaboratively with colleagues in other healthcare professions in ways that best serve my patients' interests. Treat with respect and willingly assist all students and trainees in their learning so that they may acquire the skills and competencies necessary for good clinical care. Be honest and trustworthy, protect confidentiality, ensure that my personal beliefs do not compromise my patient's care, act quickly to protect my patients from risk and never abuse my position as a doctor. In all these matters, I will never discriminate unfairly against my patients or colleagues. I will hold in due regard the honourable obligations of the medical profession, doing nothing which would bring it into disrepute. Above all, I dedicate my professional life to the service of those entrusted to my care. That now concludes our celebration event and I hope you all enjoyed this online presentation. I would like to thank everybody who made this event possible, including all the staff and students who contributed. I'd particularly like to thank Professor Wendy Turner and Dr. Mark Lappin for taking the lead in organizing this event. Sadly, we were not able to hold our graduation ball this year and normally at that event, it is customary for me to pass on a few final words of advice to our new graduates. As someone who's traveled the journey you're about to embark on, these are my top five tips. My first piece of advice is to seize the moment. Your families will be both proud and relieved, so it's probably the best time to ask them for money. My next piece of advice is to get the balance right in your life. Dentistry is a challenging career, so it is important to develop interests and friends outside dentistry which help you to relax and deal with the stress. Enjoy your job. Being a dentist is a wonderful career. It has many more advantages than disadvantages. Keep learning. You will all experience failure, but it's how you deal with failure that counts. And finally, in your clinical practice, use all the personal qualities you have developed at dental school, including empathy, rigor, capacity to think independently, to listen politely, to disagree or without being disagreeable. You can now go forward with confidence that you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Good luck in your future career. I would now ask everyone to stay online for a little while longer so that you can enjoy some of the highlights of the class of 2020's time at Queen's University. Thank you.